I've just installed Lumion 10.5. Let's check it out together what's new. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In this video, I'm going to talk about Lumion 10.5 an uh, update i just received the email i installed it i haven't checked it out yet i just went to the page of what's new in their blog um and yeah i wanted to check it out with you guys together what's new okay so let's go just first to the blog page to the blog post where it says what's new in lumion 10.5 so basically in here it has a nice video a uh, straight away a thing i really like is that it's it's a lot to do with gardens with outdoors with terraces backyards so that's pretty cool for me anyway and uh, for you if you're watching this channel um it's uh, i'm all about landscape uh, design uh, garden design etc so uh, straight away i thought that was pretty cool um it seemed to me i'm not sure yet so i need to go into deep exactly what's the the, the novelties in terms of 10.5 it seems to me that the big big um new thing is the 70 uh, 67 uh, high quality models um i'm thinking the fire pit is one of them that's cool um i'm not uh, you know like look in here say 16 planting pots uh, 10 coffee and garden tables, 7 chairs, um, garden bench, um, 4 wicker baskets and many more. The many more, I'm not sure what it is. Um, it's a combined now with uh, 5,600 uh, models in uh, in all the lumion um so straight away i'm like okay um the planting pots it's okay um personally i don't like to use lumion furniture okay from their library in my garden design projects because uh, i think it is it, gonna is gonna end up looking like everyone else and you can identify very quickly what's lumion uh, models okay it's like the barbecues you know uh, you can identify really quickly so i really like to uh to outsource uh the models from other uh, and real models or from the main um brand uh, from their website that they normally have an architectural uh, site um, um, that you can access and register and download the, the models in 3D um, and add the textures after etc. But that's my favorite way of getting a really high quality furniture inside my projects. Okay, the same with barbecues. I prefer to use a, um, uh, a real world barbecue like a Weber barbecue okay um, then uh, just some general barbecue uh, but that's just me um, so yeah okay we've got the fire pit is pretty cool I like the fire pit because that's something I can personally use a lot and it's always good to to get new models I'm a big fan but I don't find that uh, just uh, as, as impressive, okay? Um, and after they had it here with the 360 panorama made in Lumion 10.5, you can click and look around the spot to view new objects from the backyard. So, uh, so first I thought they were saying this was uh, something new, but it's not because we've been able to you do this. Um, but yeah, I think they mean just to ch check it out that you can check it out. The the I'm not sure if they have if the lights are as well. That's pretty cool if they have this kind of lighting. Um, but we'll check it out now in the in the outdoor models because in the plants there isn't real the plant models is more in the outdoor um, models so let's go into lumion check it out so i've checked out with the plants and so i i can't find nothing uh, new this is my favorite so let's go to the outdoors so I'm just going to go quickly through this. I would love for them to, to, for us to be able to see what's new straight away, or maybe to be able to, this is new, uh, to be in the end. I'm sh I'm pretty sure this is new as well. So you have some nice benches, um, some lounges that's new. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with the having new furniture. Don't get me wrong. I just find it 
that I want to use real brands in my projects, you know, because I want to normally I want to uh, to suggest my clients something I can source it after in the real world, you know. Uh, so buildings. Um, I'm not sure. I don't use these buildings in my projects, so I'm not sure. But it seems like there's some more buildings than they used to be. Uh, let's uh, go and so and sorted ones. So this is all the same, I believe. And the flags, of course. Uh, we've got all this before. Did we add a grass cutter? A lawn mower, I mean. Hmm. Not sure if we had a lawn mower before. So yeah, the pots. Do we had all this, I believe. Maybe not this ones. No, not this ones. That's kind of nice. That plant pot. One thing I like is to, when I'm sourcing. This is all new. Or most of them. Yeah, this is all new. So that's pretty cool. I was looking for a terracotta pot in the other day. I couldn't find nothing really good because we use a lot of terracotta in Portugal. One thing I like in when I'm outsourcing the 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 furniture, pots and vases and all this stuff is that I can actually change the texture, okay? So I could modify and add a real uh, clay texture, for example, something like that. So that's something uh, as well. That's why I like to outsource some stuff as well. Um, but this looks good. This looks cool. Um, I'm pretty sure we had only one screen. Not sure. I don't use them. That's why I'm not sure so much. Yeah, this is new as well. Some some trellis. I like these little details, you know. But it's just like, oh, that's cool. That's a big basket. So let's just go a bit through. Ah, this is cool. This is something I use. This is something I use the focus focal lighting in the garden just to um, because you don't need a very specific model it's just to to show the client what more or less the lighting so this is signs i don't know if you have any need for that if you're doing public spaces um barrels and containers and that, that's cool storage box uh utilities let's see if there's something new fairly quickly That's cool as well to sometimes to put the surveillance cameras in if you want, you know, that's pretty cool. And waste, I'm not going to go through that. Industry, the same, no news. Let, I just wanted to check if they have that kind of fairy lights. Um, I'm not sure you have them here. No, that was something cool I would like to have. They have these new lamps, more classic kind of thing. Um, that's okay. I might use that in a more classic setting. Um, but yeah, but that seems to be basically it. Um, I'm not sure if there's something very uh, in terms of uh, improvements in the software, in the program, if there's something very, very... Uh, new um, it doesn't seem like it but if I find out I'll let you guys know um, I will explore a little bit more it's always cool I always like that they keep improving I actually checked out the fine detail there is nothing new here no more plants uh, I always like that they're always improving and always doing this update so that's pretty cool and adding stuff new models etc that's cool as well um, I would like to 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 have some more vegetation and improvements on the old ones. So plants like uh, I really want to to see some changes in plants like uh, let me just um, show you an example. So plants like this penicentum, okay. So if you see it sometimes in here, it's okay. And uh, if you're far away, it's okay. But if you get up close, you see the 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 actually main flower is let's just like two flat images, you know, crossing each other. So some improvement in some of the plants the old models as well that will be really cool and really welcome but let me know what you think guys let me know if you're excited about the lumion 10.5 and yeah see you in the next video bye bye